The procedure starts by advancing the throttles to full power and simultaneously applying positive back pressure on the yoke in order to establish a pitch-up attitude. While continuing the pitch-up process, the flaps are slowly retracted while maintaining a positive climb attitude and a positive rate of climb. With a positive rate of climb clearly established, the gear is retracted. The pitch up should continue to establish a pitch attitude that will result in a climb speed of 88 knots. Since we are already in the holding pattern, a turn to the outbound leg begins. Eighty-eight knots is maintained until at least 500 feet AGL and clear of obstacles. But if you are unfamiliar with the local terrain and obstacles, ATP recommends maintaining eighty-eight knots to the missed approach altitude, in this case, 1,800 feet. The CDI needle is already set to the indicated inbound course of the holding pattern, in this case, 109. At 1,000 feet AGL, the pilot reduces the power to 24 inches and 2,500 RPM and performs the after takeoff checklist. The outbound time is noted when the HSI to from flag changes again to from. As level off occurs, a significant power reduction is required to keep the aircraft speed at 100 knots for the hold. Now that the aircraft is established in the hold, the pilot can make the required holding entry call to ATC. After one minute, the pilot turns inbound to rejoin the inbound course. Upon reaching the fix, the pilot starts the turn outbound and the process continues until vectors or an approach clearance is given.